This swim, I think, is going to be the hardest swim in my life. Not only is the water freezing cold, so the water comes straight off the glacier, off the Kumbu Glacier. It's around about zero degrees centigrade, but on top of that, it's at 5,300 meters. It's up in the heavens. So that cocktail of cold plus altitude, put those two together, make this swim so very, very difficult. I will never ever forget the first time I saw Mount Everest. I came around the corner and there she was, right there in front of me. And two things struck me. The first one was, wow, this is a big mountain. But what impressed me even more was her sheer beauty. I mean, there she was with the snow on the top and it was one of those beautiful, pristine days. And uh, I mean, I've been waiting to see Mount Everest for many, many years. And, she didn't disappoint me. We've been walking now for five days and every single day I seem to feel the altitude more and more. I've, I've never experienced anything like this before. It feels like you know when you run a 400 meters around an athletics, athletics track and you feel absolutely exhausted, you can barely breathe? That's how I feel even when I'm doing nothing. Last night I was having dinner and I heard a big commotion. And there was a group of four people carrying a body down off the mountain. And it was a Nepalese climber who died five years ago on Mount Everest. And my first thought was, was obviously, that could be me in two weeks' time. You know, this is a very dangerous place, Mount Everest. A lot of climbers die, and certainly nobody has ever attempted a swim on Mount Everest. And certainly not in just a speedo cap and goggles. And so before the swim, you have all these doubts. I'm not Superman. I get very, very frightened before these swim. But I try and just try and focus on what I'm trying to do. And for me, the, what, what's propelling me to do this swim, to throw myself into water, which is so very, very cold, is I really want to shake the lapels of world leaders. I think that this area, the Himalayas, these mountains behind me, I think they're going to be the next big battleground. There are glaciers here, hundreds and hundreds of glaciers, and they're retreating because of climate change. North of here, we have China. South, we've got India, we've got Pakistan, Bangladesh. All these countries rely on the water from these glaciers. Well, yeah. If he's in serious trouble, he needs to come to the medical tent. Uh, I'll tell you what happens. Lewis yeah. gets pulled into that boat, that yeah. boat gets turned around, and, and the two guys paddle like that. Like like if we do pull him, yeah. shouldn't, we, shouldn't it be on that section there? Makes Normal sense. procedure with cold water yeah. swimmers yeah. that you have the boat with a safety person, yeah. you, a medic in the boat to make okay. the call. Yeah. Okay. You know, because the question is also, yeah. You know, when do you make the call that it's unsafe?
Rose, Rose. 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 That's it. It's all over you. Thank you. Amazing. Well done, Lewis. Woo! Yay! Yay! Well done, Brittany! Well done, Lewis! Proud of you. Good work.